Hey, what's going on guys? I uh, got something pretty special for you today. Not sure that everybody will be excited, but I'm really excited to share this with you and I hope a lot of you guys find this interesting as well. Um, I've been collecting sports cars ever since I was a little kid, mainly baseball, basketball, and football. Um, started probably in the late 90s and kind of went through these phases, but right now I'm heavily into it, more into it than I ever have been. I uh, got my first motorcycle cards when I was about 12... 12 or 13 years old for Christmas. Didn't even know that they existed. Panini made a set of MotoGP cards, um, and my, my family got them for me for Christmas. Like I said, didn't know they existed. It was super cool. Uh, now, fast forward 20 years later, I'm basically, over the last two years, I bought every motorcycle car that I can find that interests me on eBay, um, and I wanted to show off my personal collection. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Kind of nothing is categorized you know in any way I, I mean I have it kind of in separated but I'm not going to show it to you in any certain order I'm just going to kind of show off my favorites and then um, at the end I, th I think maybe maybe in the middle of the video is going too long I'm going to open up this box uh, it says officially licensed product of Wira which I'm assuming for those of you that race uh, in America know what Wira is it's a motorcycle organization that, that I raced in in 2004, man, 2015 and 2016, and just randomly throughout you know my career, I'm, I've done some weirder races. Um, it's, it's Team TAC, Inc. Um, I've never seen these. I, I have some cards that are around, you know, from around 91, but I'm not sure if it's the same ones. Um, I was at Daytona testing last weekend and uh, ended up they, they had like a swap meet kind of thing, motorcycle swap meet in the middle of the infield. And, and I ended up, uh, you know, coming across these cards. They had, they had five boxes. I wish I would have bought them all. I only paid around 20 bucks for this box. Um, I'm assuming there's 150 cards in here. It says Series 1, 1 through 150. So I'm assuming there's about 150 cards. Uh, it says Top American, Canadian, and European Motorcycle Road Racers. So I'm pretty excited what I'm going to, uh, you know, to see what, what's in here. Um, he, he showed me a checklist, what was in it, but I didn't really pay attention to it. I just knew I wanted to get these before somebody else grabbed them. Just because, like I said, I've been into sports cars and motorcycle cars my entire life and right now a lot so um yeah we'll probably we're definitely going to open these up at some point but i'm not sure exactly when so i'm going to set them back here and like i said i'm just i'm just going to go through my collection there's probably two or three hundred cards total just motorcycle and some nascar and formula one stuff um but i'm mainly just going to show you some of my favorites uh the set that i got as a kid the panini set there's probably 150 cards in that set so i'm not going to go through that whole set but i will show you kind of what there is and if you decide you want to try and find some good luck there's some packs but they're pretty pricey now um so yeah we're gonna get right into it um i uh, and and make sure you guys don't skip through the video i can't really i don't think i'm gonna be able to put a timeline on this but there's some cool stuff some old autographs a lot of nikki hayden stuff i have a ton of nikki hayden stuff that i've been collecting heavily over the last year so um stick around just like i said gonna go through this in no order um just kind of randomly um so right right off the start i guess i'm just gonna go through a couple of these oldies um we'll, might as well start with this jeff ward card right here uh, i picked this up obviously jeff ward's a legend uh indy car supercross motocross supermoto truck stadium trucks i mean he's done it all and i also started training with jeff uh, a little bit uh, at the gym that I was at, so we rode bicycles, you know, a few times together. So I had to get a couple of these. I think I picked up two or three of them on eBay, and I plan on having them sign them. And, and like I said, this is all my personal collection, so I'm more than likely never going to sell any of this. It's just stuff that means a lot to me, and the Ward card was was pretty cool to me, pretty special. Um, this is I don't have it sleeve because it's kind of a it it wasn't a a sleeve, but it's you know not meant for it. So I just pulled it out. This is something that. Uh, a fan actually gave to me a barber last year. It's just a random Nikki Hayden card. Um, it, I guess it was some kind of game. It's not even sized correctly. It's not like a, you know, your your regular cards, but it's called Play a Day MotoGP the Riders Top Trumps. Um, this one is from. Yeah, it doesn't even have a year on this thing that I can see. So just a just a random cool card, cool Nikki Hayden card was a gift, like I said, from a fan. So held on to it. Um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, we got these. These are, these are some of my favorites, actually. Um, you can see here we got Josh Hayes card. This is uh, not, I believe this was just made by Honda. 
So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a tops or Panini or Upper Deck card. I think these were just handed out at the races, which a couple of the cards that I have are like that. Um, but I just wanted to show you a cool Josh Hayes card. This is from 2007. Would have been on the Arian Honda. I'm assuming this is a Formula Extreme bike he won the championship on. So pretty neat to see that. I was teammates with Josh, and uh, he was, uh, you know, he's my coach in 2021. So pretty cool card for me. Uh, then we got uh, Ben Spees. I'm not sure, I'm gonna assume it's like 2007, 2008, but obviously Yoshimura was the main team that he rode for in, in AMA, so all those years basically from, I think it was like the late 90s or early 2000s, uh, actually it would have been early 2000s, um, up until I think 2009 when he went to World Superbike, he rode for Yosh mainly, so um, let's see, this would have been, yeah, it doesn't even say what year they made these. Man, that's silly, I don't know why they, wouldn't have included the years, but uh, I, th I think it was right around 2008, 2007. Not really sure, you know, correct me, but um, I was definitely racing an AMA whenever this happened because they picked up the Rockstar sponsorship. I know it was him, Aladdin, and I think Tommy Hayden that year. So pretty cool card. I think that photo was maybe Fontana coming on the back straight. Uh, then we got a little bit older card, Curtis Roberts. Uh, I was a big fan of Curtis Roberts when I was a kid. I, I love seeing him on the old, I don't know if you guys remember, but the Arion bike uh, would have been like the flow red, white and black bike with, you know, kind of like the squiggles on it. It was, that was one of my favorite paint jobs. So again, this is probably not going to have the year on it, just like that last card for whatever reason. I don't know why they did it. This looks like it was maybe made by either Mountain Dew or Honda or possibly even Mid-Ohio because they got Mid-Ohio on here. It's advertising the Mid-Ohio race. Doesn't even have the year of the race or advertising. Maybe up here on the top. Mm, nope, sponsored by Chevy Trucks at the time. So not really sure, but super sick card. Uh, Curtis Roberts card right there on the RC51. Pretty sure. Um, yeah, awesome card. Uh, next one's really cool. It's a Miguel Duhamel card from the same year. Same exact thing, but factory Honda autographed i don't know for a fact you know this isn't it's not certified or anything it's never been sent to beckett or psa or anything a fan traded me some i traded him actually some memorabilia so i gave him i want to say like a hat t-shirt he might not even have it yet I've, <laughs> I've asked my uh the merchandise guy a couple times to send it off to him but he uh he's been super slammed so if you're watching this and you don't have it yet i'm gonna make sure that you get it um i just don't have it uh in my garage to, to send to you so It'll it'll get to you it'll get to you soon I promise um, I, I really appreciate this card he gave me a, a, quite a few cards um, and some some really cool autographed ones but same deal as the Curtis Roberts card this one was just uh, you know advertising a race or maybe the year for Honda or something so Auto Miguel Duhamel not very many of these floating around I'm sure uh, this is another really cool one would have been the same year as the Josh Hayes card I showed you Aaron Gobert on the Arian Honda I would have raced against him this year. Actually, would have raced against Josh Hayes. I think I was racing against both these guys in Super Sport this year. So this is a Formula Extreme bike. I'm pretty sure he's on because I don't think he won a Super Sport title. And then this is, you know, it's either going to be the... Actually, I guess you could probably tell. This looks like a Super Sport bike. You can see the black forks. I can't tell for sure, but, it, you know, there's gold forks. I'm assuming was the Formula Extreme bike. Um, and this looks like a DOT. So yeah, I'm a, pretty sure this is on Super Sport. This would be a Formula Extreme, but pretty cool. It raced against these guys. These guys. Obviously, I'm going to get this autographed by Josh. I meant to this year, but didn't get it. Um, yeah, I was a big Aaron Gobert fan. Was was kind of teammates with him. He was on Factory Yamaha uh, Super Stock and Super Sport the year that I was riding for Graves in 06. So I was hanging out with him a bunch, and, and uh, he's been a good friend of mine ever since then. Obviously, brothers to uh, Alex Gobert and uh, Anthony Gobert. Um, this is a cool one I picked up on, on eBay. Um, this is part of the set that I told you about that I got as a kid. So it would have been 2004. Um, but this is a shaky burn auto card. Got this on eBay. So autograph on eBay. Again, not, not guaranteed or anything, but for what I paid for it, 15 bucks or something, it was worth it. Uh, looked up to, you know, Shane Byrne as a kid and, and, uh, talked to him. Never, I don't believe I've ever met him in person, but I've talked to him on Instagram and stuff. So definitely a really cool card. I'm going to try to get through this a little bit quicker. Sorry, guys. It's, I'm already 10 minutes in. Didn't realize that this is going to be a long video. But like I said, it's it's not something that you got to stick around and watch the whole thing. It's just kind of something cool for me and wanted to show you. So um, 
some of this older stuff, you know, I, I haven't researched and forgive my ignorance. You know, I don't, don't know some of these guys, but, but, you know, I was basically just looking for anything motorcycle racing related on sports cards. And if I could find something graded like this one, I'm obviously going to jump all over it. So John Surtees, I've heard the name before. I'm sure he was a GP rider in the, in the fifties and sixties, but you know, maybe if you want to leave a comment below, let me know if you know, obviously if you're Googling it, you don't need to tell me who it is, but if you do know a story about him or, or something, you know, feel free to let me know, but cool that it's uh, graded. It's a near mint seven. So for those of you guys that don't know, this is a car that's graded by PSA. They basically put it in this enclosed case. You can't get it out. So this is a case that I slide a card into. This is one that PSA, you actually submit this. They grade it one through 10. This, like I said, was near mint seven. So it's a seven out of 10 in the condition. They, they grade it by, you know, the condition of the face of the car, the corners. Um, you can see this one looks a little off centered. There's more white border on the left side than there is the right side. But still really cool. Anything you can get graded by PSA Motorcycle Racing, jump on it if you can. It's probably going to be a little bit more, but that's because they had to pay to submit it. Um, but this card, I'm not sure when it was. Oh, here we go. So this is a 1959 card. So, I mean, this thing you're talking is is pretty freaking old, near 60 years old. So um, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. It says, at the age of 25, he is probably the greatest racing motorcyclist since Jeff Duke. Which, keep in mind, this is made in, in the 50s, so, um, but, but it's pretty cool. It shows he's, he's won the Italian Grand Prix, the Belgian Grand Prix, the Dutch Grand Prix, German, French, and uh, he was a world, I don't know if this World Racing Championship, 1959, I don't know if he won it or if they're just saying that he was in it that year, but it looks like this came in a, with a pack of cigarettes or something, top flight cigarettes, so pretty cool. John Surtees, 1959. Um, might as well just jump to these really quick. This was so cool. I, I actually, my buddy John John told me I should open these live on Instagram. So I was like, oh, all right, I'll do it. Wasn't expecting anything special. These were made. Um, I have, I have like three or four years of them. Um, but I just grabbed these ones to show you. So this is 2006, six right here, 2008, 2009. Um, so Jordan Motorsports, basically, if you guys don't know, they had a superbike team in AMA, Moto America, um, in the 2000s, or to, <laughs> in the 2000s, like 2000, and, I think five through like 2000, and, I don't know what year they stopped, but 2010 maybe, um, and they used these just to hand out at the races, so they'd hand out a pack of cards, um, and I happened to open these live on Instagram and found an actual Jeff May autograph. They're not numbered or anything. I talked to Jeff and he said that he remembers signing them and he opened hundreds of pack, packs looking for these cards. And I'm too stingy or too selfish to, to give him this one because it was so cool that I happened to open it live and got it on eBay and just, it was very cool. So this year would have been Jeff May, Aaron Yates, and I thought Jake Holden, but I guess just those two. So again, these are really cool to me, very special. I've been friends with Jeff for a long time, raced against him. Um, so 2006 Jordan team, then you got the 2008 Jordan team, which here we go. That would have been Rap, Pagram, or Pagram, oh my God, Pridmore, and uh, Jake Holden. So pretty cool cards. None of these are autographed, but really cool. It was a gold livery that year, 2000, 2008. So really cool cards. Open those up. Bought those on eBay. Open that pack. And then this one's the most special to me, 2009 Jordan Suzuki. Got the Aaron Yates auto in here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I you know, moved out to Georgia when I was 13, and uh, we built a motorcycle track at our house when I was six, 17. And uh, Aaron Yates and his son Ashton have been coming to our track ever since. Ashton's actually a, you know, like a brother to me. He's been dating my sister Zoe for a couple years now. And before that, you know, we were like, like brothers, so it's, it's awesome. Kind of weird that Zoe's dating him because we were so, so close. Basically considered them family, so it's kind of weird. But we live in Georgia, so it's all right. Or they do. Um, I'm just kidding. But yeah, 2009, Jordan Suzuki, you would have had, uh, I believe it was three of them again? Maybe not. And they're just showing Yates on these ones. I know it wasn't just Yates, but um, I think it was Yates and Holden, maybe? It doesn't say on any of these. Uh, I I don't know off the top of my head who, who else was riding on that team, but I want to say it was Yates and... Pridmore, maybe. I, I'm not sure. I sound like an idiot. I was there, and I don't even remember. Um, okay, next up, got two of these. Like I said, PSA graded. It was just pretty cool. Uh, Marvel Comics card. 
um, Captain America. This one's a gem mint 10, so that's, I believe that's the best grade you can get. And then you got a mint nine, um, so almost, you know, almost perfect. Just cool that they're graded and uh, just motorcycle cards. So, uh, I believe this is a comic book cover, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. All right, uh, I've met Robbie Madison before, so you know, saw these on eBay and really wanted to get them. They're basically these are just some. This is a base card, you know, gold mini. This is a, I believe this is Allen and Ginter. No, actually, this is an upper deck gold Goodwin Champions. I thought this was uh, Alan and Ginter. This is Alan Ginter, though. This is a uh, piece of his jersey, I'm assuming. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say what it is. Uh, authentic memorabilia from motocross champion Robbie Madison. Yeah, it doesn't say what it is, but I'm assuming it's jersey. Um, like I said, I've met Robbie. He's a really cool guy and saw these and, and had to jump on them. Got uh, two autographs. Pretty cool. This is the upper deck. Uh, Goodwin Champions. Um, so that's pretty cool. Again, not not numbered, but still really cool. And then you got the Allen and Ginter auto here. Pretty neat. And these are both certified. Like these are guaranteed. This is Robbie Madison's autograph. So really cool. And then this is just, I'm assuming like a Sports Illustrated card. I think somebody threw it in with the card I got on eBay. So pretty cool. I remember opening these up when I was a little kid. I don't know what year this is from, but uh, had to have been from, you know, early, early 2000s, somewhere around there. You would, uh, if you didn't know, you get a magazine and they'd have cardboard cutouts or baseball card, sports card cutouts. You could you could break them off so you can see right there where they peeled off. Pretty cool. Um, so I, I have more motorcycle cards I'm going to show you. I just happened to grab these right now. So don't change the channel if you're not into motorcycles. Um, so I'll, I'll start with the uh, Pastranas. The reason I started getting the NASCAR stuff was because of Pastrana. Uh, so this is a piece of his hood. This is numbered out of 199, so pretty cool. For those of you who don't know, that's his racing number. So, but it's number 146 out of 199. So there's 199 of these cards. Uh, but it's, like it says right here, it's a, um, yeah, it's a, actually it doesn't say it on there, but, oh yeah, sheet metal. Okay, race used sheet metal. So there's a piece of sheet metal from his car uh, during one of the races, so pretty cool. Um, this is, should be a piece of his jersey. Or it says shirt. I don't know if it's you know piece of his racing gear, uh, but this is numbered 89 out of 99. Uh, race used memorabilia. So this should be a piece of his uh, racing suit. Uh, and then these are just you know there's a couple. I think I got you know two. They're basically all the same card, just different chunks of motocross gear. Uh, that's Allen and Ginter. Allen and Ginter is one of my favorite um, you know brands of cards. It's, it's made by Tops, but just a certain product that they have and I love it because you'll have guys like Pastrana mixed in with baseball guys or you'll have, you know, I think I have, uh, yeah, right here. So this is, you know, like an Olympian signed by Shannon Johnson, gymnast, so really cool. Um, okay, then can't forget about my bustin' Justin Allgaier. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, he races NASCAR and he's a big motorcycle fan. He goes to a lot of Moto America races, so had to, had to keep this one. Um, Hopefully Justin's watching. I haven't shown him this, but I've always held on to it. And then had to buy this, Kyle Petty. It's uh, certified by Beckett, so this is his autograph. It's not numbered, but again, um, Allen and Ginter card, pretty cool, certified. Okay, then you got some Formula One stuff, just some random stuff. This is, you know, obviously Lando Norris, rookie card is, is a pretty good one to get. Um, they started basically, they've, I think, I'm pretty sure they started making these cards because of the Netflix series. So I'm hoping that the MotoGP series on Amazon next year takes off and people, you know, really, maybe they make some, some cards. Because this is a good way to get people, obviously the, the, Net, the Amazon series is going to be a good way to get people into the sport. But if you can make cards like this, it's a good, really good way to get new people into the sport. I, I'm big into card collecting and I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of the guys that collect these cards now watch the races just because the cards are out and they want to stay up to date on you know who's winning, what cards are going to be valuable. So pretty cool. I'm not going to bore you with these, but but it is cool and I hope uh, MotoGP comes out with some again. Um, old school cards here that I found on eBay. Uh, Kenny Roberts card from... Man, they did not... Okay, 82. It says it's so sport superstars, Euro football. I'm assuming this is kind of like these cards I showed you, the Allen and Ginter, where they kind of mix in some different superstars, right? So this is from 1982, I'm assuming. Actually, I don't know when this is from. 82? Would that be 82? 
But Kenny Roberts, this is a different different kind of card, but Eddie Lawson card. This is 1986. These are cool. I, I'm really pumped on these finds. Luca Catalora, again, from 1986. Um, Randy Mamola, this should be... This should be from 1986 as well. Yep. So these these cards right here are pretty special to me. Um, I don't know how many of these there are, but these things are in really good condition for for motorcycle cards that most people don't really you know care about and there's not much value to. Somebody kept these nice. I, I bought them from Europe somewhere. So um, shout out to whoever I got those from. Um, I got some more exciting stuff. So don't. Don't change. I just don't want to lose you guys here. So these are also some of the cards that I got from the guy that gave me the autographed Aaron Gobert and Miguel Duhamel card. Uh, Super bikes, I guess, was this. I don't know who made these. Champs. But it was certified by, you know, AMA Pro Racing. So pretty cool. Michael Barnes, who I've raced against forever. These are from 93. Not in the best condition, but really cool cards. Uh, Michael Barnes. Keith Code. Dale Quarterly, Jimmy Felice, Dave Sadowski, Rich Oliver. These are all names that if you guys watch the AMA, you know these guys. Jamie James, Steve Crevier. Okay, cool story about Steve Crevier. I'm going to set that right there. Check this out. I got this at Daytona last week. This was my favorite race team as a kid. Smoking Joe's, Camel Racing. Um, I don't know if you, if anybody knows about this. Obviously, some of you will. But this was uh, off the RC51, Steve Crevier's bike, as you can see right there, signed. Again, not certified. I hope the guy that sold it to me was telling the truth. But this is legit, you know, from, from that bike. I mean, you can see his nice-ass carbon bodywork. Um, AMA Tech sticker right there. So, obviously not, not the same year. This is 93. I don't know what year this bodywork would be from, but Steve Crevier. Um, like I said, bought this at Daytona last week. Super pumped on this. Just thought I would show you guys that so you kind of had an idea of who he was, maybe. I guess it doesn't tell you who he was, but I just thought it was cool. John Ashmead, I think he's one Daytona. I don't really, I'm not super familiar with him. Uh, yeah, won the Daytona 200 in 1989, the year before I was born. Or Daytona 200 winner buddies. Thomas Stevens. Kenny Roberts Jr. Wow. Willow Springs, I think. Uh, pretty cool. Tom Kipp, Doug Polin, Pascal Picot, Gerald Rothman. I don't know who that is, I don't think. Uh, Gerald was the AMA CCS expert heavyweight superbike national champion in 1991. So uh, his first year as an expert, he ran AMA. 600 Super Sport National Road Race Series to finish ninth in the points. So, not really sure who he is. Scott Russell, you guys better know who that is. Colin Edwards, Britt Turkington, not sure who that is. Randy Renfro and Mike Smith. Oh, here you go. There's the body work. Basically, I don't think that's that's definitely not the RC51, but same team for those of you guys that didn't know. See, Camel. Okay, we're getting close to the box. Now, I'm going to show you some of my favorite cards. Okay. So, I'm only I'm not going to show you all these, but this is the 2003 MotoGP set that I was telling you about. I'll go through them really quick. Um, if I see ones that I, you know, really want to show you, I'll stop. Um, but yeah, so this is the 2003 Panini MotoGP set. Um, I don't I don't know everybody in here, but for the most part I do. Um, Aoki, Alex Barros, Troy Bayless, Max Biaggi, Chris Burns, Caparossi, Cheka, David DeGia, DeG, DeG, I, I remember that name, but I'm not sure if it's DeGia or DeG, Colin Edwards, Jibbernow, Haga, there you go, Nicky Hayden, it, 03 was his rookie year, right? Should be, 2003. Pretty sick. I, I should have this in my collection of Nikki cards, but I don't want to break up my set, so I just leave it in this in the set. Hopper, Oliver Jack. I need to get Hopkins to sign this card. I need to get a lot of these guys to sign these cards, but I'm afraid I wouldn't get them back. Uh, Kianari, McCoy, Gary McCoy, legend. 
Jeremy McWilliams, legend. Marco Melandri, legend. Nakano, legend. Andrew Pitt. Kenny Roberts Jr. Tamada, Yukawa, and then this is the you know checklist. So that's I believe that was the GP riders from that year only. And then these are pretty cool. You got you got all the legends. I think I'm missing two of these. The only cards I'm missing in this whole set are a couple of these legends. Uh, but you got Freddie Spencer, Wayne Rainey, Wayne Garner, Agostini, Dewin, Jeff Duke, Jeff Duke, Mike Hillwood, uh, Anton Mang. Didn't I don't know who that is. Anton Nieto, Phil Reed, Barry Sheen. Carlo Ubiali, got two of those. So this this set is sick. I'm I'm so pumped that my parents got me this back in the day. Somehow I kept them good. I don't know how. And then I have all these. This is also part of this set. I just want to find. Um, I just wanted to show you guys. So there's like Pedrosa on his 250, and I'm pretty sure. So I know Elias was in here, but I'm pretty sure 2003. I think he was on the 250, and there's also um, there's also uh, Chaz Davies cards in here. I just wanted to show you guys those. Uh, Fonzie Nieto, Renfro, Melandri. These are yeah, these are all 250s. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah. So here's Elias. So for those of you that don't know, I was teammates with him in 2019. Pretty crazy. This guy was racing 250 GPs in 2002, and I was teammates with him in 2019 on Yoshimura Suzuki. Pretty nuts. And then there should be a Chaz Davies in here. I don't want to take too long to find this, but there is a Chaz Davies in here. Um, Rossi card. Sick. Not many Rossi cards, so... This is cool. It blows my mind that there wasn't an Allen and Ginter card made after Rossi. But there's a Valentino Rossi card. Got two of them, three of them, four of them. Got a bunch of Rossis. So there is a, there's a Cheka, or I mean, a, not a Cheka, a uh, Chaz Davies in here somewhere. But I don't want to take, I, we're already 27 minutes into this. I don't want to take way too long trying to find it to show you guys. But there's a lot of cards in there. If you guys get a chance, if you if you're into this, look for this the Panini set from 2003. Um, it was it's super cool. Uh, it's just cool being able to. Not that many people know about these, so it's it's just cool being able to show you guys this stuff. Um, all right, here's my crown jewels. Crown jewels. This is these are my favorite cards. Nikki Hayden's. All right, I've been collecting these hard. Every card I find on eBay, as long as it doesn't look like a fake. Some, even the autos that I have might be fake, but I just wanted to get them just in case they weren't. But here's another one of those. It's either Mountain Dew or Honda or maybe Mid-Ohio made these, but Nikki Hayden on the RC51. I think this is the year he won the title, so actually I guess it would have been 2001. Uh, oh, no. Dang. I'm so wrong. Uh, 2002, he won the title. So what year would this have been? Because he went to MotoGP in 03. Strange. Let me know if you know. I don't, I don't actually know. All right, and this is the Allen & Ginner base card. So this is, like I said, out, Topps Allen & Ginner, my favorite cards because they insert cards like these. I don't know how there's no other, you know, no Rossi, nobody like that. But Nikki Hayden has a base card in here. Okay, so just so you know, I have a lot of the base cards. Like I said, every time I'd find them on eBay, I'd buy them. I'd buy them in bulk if people had them. But, so there's a bunch of base cards. Then you get the mini cards. So this is a mini black. So this is not numbered, but it's more rare than the regular mini base. So there's the small, small ones. Then you get the base minis. Okay. And then these are all another base, mini base. These are all base cards. So there's like 90 Nikki Hayden base cards in here. There's still some on eBay. So if you want them, I didn't take all of them. But I, I took a good chunk of them. All right, camera stopped recording there. Had to start again. So we have, this is a piece of Nikki's glove. And you can see right here, 
Top selling again a relic card. I already said this, so if it sounds not authentic, I'm sorry. I had been not recording for a minute while I was talking about this. <laughs> but this was one of my first cards that I found when I found out that you could get Nikki Hayden Allen and Ginter cards with a piece of his leathers or glove in it. I was like, holy shit. I don't think anybody knows these exist that are motorcycle fans. Uh, so it says right here, uh, contains a swatch cut from an authentic racing glove worn by Nikki Hayden. So hopefully whenever they asked him for you know a, a race-worn glove, he was able to send it there or somebody picked it up from him right after the race so that they certify because it is certified race worn glove by Nikki Hayden. So I, if you guys know, let me know. The only thing I can think of is when he had the Suzuka eight hour or 24 hour. I don't know if it was eight or 24, uh, but he was like on this, the Honda with the Chrome leathers seven something. I think this is from that event, but it's just strange to me that it's, I feel like it's, this is from his leathers. And they, they're saying it's from his glove because it's got a print on it. Most of our gloves would not have had. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this might have been from. He was wearing Joe Rocket at that time. 2003. I think, yeah, his rookie year in GP. Or maybe it was the year he won the Superbike title. And then he went and did Suzuka. And then maybe he went to that race before he went to GP. I'm not sure. But if you guys know, let me know. All right. Then we got another one that says this is. A glove also, but it's white. And this card is from 2008, right? Yeah, 2008, white. So what glove would he have worn? Oh, I guess when he won his title, he had a lot of white on his leathers and on his gloves. 06? I don't know. Let me know what you think this might be from. Okay, these I'm not positive about, but I find it hard to believe that somebody... When there wasn't many racing fans that had these cards, I find it hard to believe that somebody would fake the autograph. The only reason I think that it's sketchy if they weren't motorcycle fans was because it was signed on card and there's cards in here like this one that are signed and there's a signature spot. So I don't know. And it's a blue Sharpie and a black Sharpie, which some cards, you know, baseball players and stuff, they sign with different Sharpies. Maybe this one was going bad, so he used that one. Or maybe the black one was getting fat so he switched to a blue one i'm not really sure but they are a little different looking but if you look at this one i was like man there's no way he wouldn't put his 69 on it but this card right here that's certified from tops doesn't have a 69 on it either so i'm thinking they might have just signed them at different times or something but these are both supposedly autoed by nikki hayden same set you know, this is the base card, and then this is autos. These are autos. So, again, not not 100% until I send it in that I know that it's a real one, but we're going to say it is. And I'm 99% sure it is. Here is the certified one. I actually have another one of these that I sent into PSA. I'll put a photo of it right now or right after this. I uh, got a Got a Gem Mint 10. It's the only Gem Mint 10 by PSA in existence of Nikki Hayden, so that's awesome. Um, and then this is certified by Beckett, so authenticated by Beckett, both of these. So this is the mini, this is the regular base. So that's the only reason why I'm like, okay, maybe it is legit because there's a base card right here that's certified, but maybe the guy that sent this one in copied it with this one, but the Sharpie and everything looks the same. So I'm thinking Nikki signed these, you know, at his house or whatever, and then they send them in. Because a lot of the baseball guys, they, they send them little stickers to sign, and then they put them on the cards, or they send them the cards, they sign them, they send them back. But somebody from Tops, I think, has to be present, or maybe it's just like, I don't know, maybe they video him sign them. I'm not really sure. But, um, but yeah, both of these are guaranteed by Beckett. They're authentic Nikki Hayden autographs. So those are by far my favorite cards are the Nikki Hayden autos that I have. Um, I love collecting autographs from people that I know. So I have a lot of you know, friends that play baseball. Not a lot of friends, but I have some friends that play baseball. Uh, one was Justin Sellers that played for the Dodgers a few years ago. Um, my best friend's cousin, Connor Brogdon, plays for the Phillies. He just got his first uh, card, so I ordered some of those. Um, and then one of my really good friends... Brandon has a friend, Lucas Williams, that plays for the Phillies, who I haven't met yet, but I've talked to him on Instagram, and so I ordered those cards. Got a couple of those. And, uh, yeah, so now 
You guys have seen my collection of cards. Now I want to open this set and just see what there is in here. So I know you've been here for like 40 minutes already. If you're still here, if you've watched this whole thing, thank you so much. You know, I don't expect there to be a lot of views on this video. It's just something really cool. I wanted to share with everybody that there, there is such a thing uh, as motorcycle cards. I feel like a lot of people don't know that. They're on eBay. You know, you can go on Facebook groups, card groups, and ask people if they have any in their collection, and more than likely they'll send them to you, you know, buy them or trade them, whatever. But uh, I don't have one of the fancy box cutters like a lot of the guys have, you know, so. Um, sorry, just got a Milwaukee one. But, so, like I said, if you listen at the beginning, this is from 1991. It says a product of Weira. So I don't know if that's Weira, the club organization that I raced with, or if it's just a company, you know, named Weira, just a coincidence. Because I find it hard to believe that it's European motorcycle road racers and it's a Weira set. So we'll see. And I don't know if these are in packs or if it's just cards in here. They might be in terrible condition. Yeah, see, so these are just cards in here. Um, so they might be some that are in bad shape. But right off the bat, Doug Chandler, that's pretty sick, 1991. So like, I'm big on trying to keep cards nice. I don't really know the best way to take these out, but I don't want to flip them over because there's so many of them. Uh, maybe I will actually. I'm just gonna flip them. Pull the box. And flip those. Yeah, these are old school. These are like paper feeling. Okay. So, I might as well just go through all these. You guys have been here already for 40 minutes. If you're here that long, you're gonna stick around for the last five minutes. But I'm not gonna stop on these cards for too long. I'll, I'll obviously point out the really good ones that I know, um, and then I'll go through the other ones pretty quick. But Doug Chandler, for sure, going to um, sleeve this guy up right here just because I like, when I watch videos, I love watching people Oh my God, what a rookie. I love watching people sleeve the cards up, so it's very satisfying. I'm gonna keep that one nice. Okay, ooh, another Doug Chandler. What? Wow, okay, I'm not gonna sleeve up all these. These are all really good. Okay, Doug Chandler. This would have been, is this a Muzzies Kawasaki? No way. 25 years old. Man, maybe it is Muzzy. Yeah, Muzzy Kawasaki, holy shit. I didn't know he was with them that early. Okay, Jamie James. Looks like this photo was taken at Daytona. Pretty sick. Jamie James. So maybe we got two of each rider in the set. We got an orange and a yellow. I'm not sure what the difference is in the orange and yellow, but yeah, there's look like there's two of each. Dale Quarterly. He's still around the Moto America pits. John Ashmead. That's the guy that we talked about earlier that's won the Daytona 200. Glenn Berry. Uh, I'll keep these in order. Okay, Glenn Berry. Michael Barnes. <laughs> I'm not sure why there's a yellow and an orange. The, this is the exact, oh wait, it's not the exact same card. It's like the exact same turn. John Roberts. Team Tumor. Randy Renfro, Randy Renfro, James Adamo, I don't know who that is, sorry. James Adamo, Nigel Gale, Tom Kipp Jr., Larry Schwarzbach, Fabian Cortez, Craig Chambeau, Bruce Neald, Bruce Neald, Michael Kraft, Craig Gleason, Revan Kevin Renzel, <laughs> Revan Kevin, Rick Kirk, Mike Hearth, Pablo Real, John Cardone, John Condren, Kurt Kimball, Mike Moores, Mike Moores, Chris, Chris De Delucio, Chris Delucio, Oh, geez. Jacques Gante Jr. Jack Jacques. Jacques Jante. Jeanette. Ju oh, Jeanette. God, I'm an idiot. Jacques Jeanette. No, not sure. Greg Esser. 
Ray Yoder. It looks like a lot of these were taken at Daytona. Steve Hislop, Steve Hislop. That's a sick bike. Steve Hislop. Wow, look at that riding style in 91. Elbows out, Kushitani leathers, a rye helmet. Carl Fogarty. Wow, that's sick. Got two Carl Fogartys. I'm gonna sleeve these things up. I've never seen a Carl Fogarty card, so I'm gonna keep those nice. I'm gonna, I'll sleeve a lot of these up, but I'm not gonna sleeve all of them up that I want to with you guys. Another Carl Fog. Okay, so there's a red. I don't know what the red cards are. It's the first one I've seen. I th oh, wait, actually, no, it's not. First one I've noticed. Dave Leach, Dave Leach, Dave Leach, Rob, Mc Rob McKelnia, Rob McKelnia, Ruben McMurder, Murter, Rick Tripod, Rick Tribody, Tripody, Jim Cox, Klaus Morrill, Klaus Morrill, Nick Ionosh. What up, Nick? Yamaha Champions Riding School, Scott Zampak, Don Green. Oh, shit. Marcelo Del Guidis. Guidish. Nice stoppy. Same dude. Susan. Oh, there's a girl. Susan Brightbill. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of girls. Nancy Delgado. <laughs> Alana Davis. Wow. Franklin Knight. Franklin Knight. William Gwynn. William Gwynn. Donald Parton, Patrick Harris, Chuck Blackman. What? What? <laughs> That's Jackson Blackman's dad. <laughs> That's funny. Robert Haynes. Check card number five. Check card number six. Man, these are pretty cool. Jay Denham, Edward Borowy, Pete Holzer. John Hopperstan, Lee Pounders, Lee Pounders, Trip Nobles. I was just riding with Trip Nobles at the Armor race last weekend at Daytona. Mike Smith, raced against Mike Smith in 2005. Mike Smith, Tommy Lynch, Tommy Lynch, Eric Moe, Michael Hunter, James McNutty, James McNutty, Billy Eisenacher, Michael McNeil, Oh, Michael McNeil, Michael McNeil, John Bianchi, Peachtree Performance, John, John Chody, Brian Kent, Jim Mosley, Evan Semif, Larry Locklear, Todd Keese, Charles McLaughlin III, Jared Sharkey, Paul Harris, Ron Perry, Richard Both. David Smith, David Smith, Carlos Garcia. All right, last couple, Glenn Cooper, Tim Morris, Jeff Whitmire, John Vergadamo, Jeff Atwell, Scott Stump. What? I don't know if that's Eric Stump's dad, Scott Stump. That would be hilarious. Fritz Kling. I recognize that name. Mike Carm, Dana Kyle, Danny Roberts, Monty Warsing, Matt Juneclaws, Todd Hogue, Tim Trimble, Robbie Bright, Pat Sheridan, Jordan Brown, Willie White, Greg Hutchinson, Bobby Franklin, Frank Hampel, John Erdich, Billy Himmelsbach, Bill Himmelsbach. Bill Himmelsbach, Bill Himmelsbach, Thomas DiNardo, Bruce Fowler, Cliff Sawyers, Jesse Abel, Jack Dupree, Tony Tuguel, Team Buell. Like Eric Buell? Oh, yeah, it's a Buell. Is Eric Buell in there? Is that him back there? Tom Cruise right there? <laughs> Timothy Babb, Chris Cuomo, Jim Shoemake, check card number one, check card number two, check card number three, check card number four. 
So, pretty cool. Carl Fogarty was the highlight. Probably Carl Fogarty and Doug Chandler. Trip Nobles, that's cool because I, I, I got a cool story about Trip Nobles. Met him at a roofing metal, yeah, like a roofing store. Yeah, random story, but I'm not going to get into it here. But he was super nice. And then saw him at Daytona last weekend. He, uh, he seemed happy, fast still. Chuck Blackman. <laughs> that's Jackson Blackman's dad. That is funny. I've tapped this guy in the nuts a couple of times. He's tapped me in the nuts too. <laughs> Love that guy. Cool. Well, I think that's it. Oh, last thing. This is sick. Uh, hopefully this is not like making crazy noises. Oh! Oh! Let's see if we can fix this. Oh! Wow. What a rookie. Look at this. Anthony Gobert. Knee puck from 1995. Daytona. Autographed. How sick is this? I got this at the swap meet last week at Daytona. I hope it's real. I'm assuming it is. I mean, this guy's kept it for a long time. Look at this. Uh, it'd be so sick if I could get this like authenticated, but it's got to be. That is sick. This might be one of my favorite things I have. Used Anthony Gobert knee puck. Oh, that reminds me. I had these also. I don't know if this even fit in the camera. This is a Tom Luti autograph I picked up on eBay. Raced against him in 2004 in Moto2. Anthony Gobert. These were like some spy autograph cards from like 2000, I don't even know when, early 2000s. Eugene Laverty, British Superbike, I think. Maybe World Super Sport. And then Johnny Cicado. I know I butchered that, I'm sorry. Pretty sick. PSA though, Mint 9. Mint 9. All right guys. That's it. I'm carded out. That was a lot of cards. That was a lot. Look at all these. If you guys watch this whole thing, props to you. Maybe one of you did. But I just wanted to show you guys that. There's no way that the majority of you knew that there were motorcycle cards. So happy hunting on eBay. Good luck finding these because your boys got most of them. Remember, I got the other one still from PSA. And I got a PSA, Travis Pastrana. Only got a seven, but I'm pumped. Yeah. This is one of my favorite things. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go and buy some merch. This is on my website. Got the link below. My hair's a mess. Maybe a Ducati New York sweater. That's not on my website, but it's on theirs. And if you guys really want to support me, you'll leave a like and a comment, share it with your friends. And if you still want to help even more, we got a Patreon channel right below. Um, yeah, with Patreon, we're going to do some giveaways that are starting this month. Um, at the end of every YouTube video, you're going to see a thanks to all of our Patreon members. You will get first views to most of my YouTube videos. You'll get some Patreon only content. Um, I think the first thing we're giving away to the Patreon channel is gonna be some Weira tools, if you, which is weird because these are Weira cards. So check them out, look online, Weira tools. I'm giving away the Joker wrench set. I don't have them with me. They sent it, but I haven't got it yet. Um, we're also going to be doing some more Moto vlogs. I'll be doing one video a week from now on. This is gonna be probably not even count as the one a week. I'm probably still gonna do a Moto vlog this week. I also just got some parts from uh, HSBK. So make sure you check out HSBK Racing and order some cool parts and tell them I sent you. We're gonna be doing some installs. I got a, I think I have a fender eliminator kit and a rear tail light that we're gonna be doing. 
an install. Hopefully I can do it. I'm gonna see if somebody will come help me. And yeah, we're gonna be having a lot of fun. I'm gonna be just sharing tons of videos with you guys. I wanna, I want this year one video every week. I don't care if it's two minutes of me just talking, I'm uploading a video once a week. Doesn't matter what it is. Might be old, might be new, might be GoPro footage, might be just me talking. I don't know, but one a week. And we're gonna give this YouTube thing a real shot. So thank you guys for watching. I know this was not a super exciting video, but it was uh, something fun for me, something I really enjoy and wanted to share with you guys. So thank you, like, subscribe, comment, Check the links out below. See ya.